The Walking Dead, Issue 80, No Way Out, Part 1. It's a motherfucking herd! Get your asses to the gate before they block our way! Come on, hurry! Get that damn gate open! Oh shit! They're on top of us! Go on, move! Hurry up! Get in here! Don't ah! close the gate! Move! Fucker! Get the chain! We gotta lock this down! Bruce! Oh my god! I don't wanna die! Oh god! I, I don't... I... What do we do? We don't have time for this fucking shit. Oh Christ. Okay. Just... We need to secure the gate. Chain it up on both sides. Use whatever extra chain we have. Make sure it's secure. And then move our military truck in front of it. We need to block their view from inside. If they see us, it might whip them into a frenzy. And with that many... I don't want to think about what could happen. Abraham, don't walk away. I can't believe you just... Bruce was my friend. He was... Bruce was dying. There was nothing we could do for him, Holly. Nothing you could do? I'm glad you didn't feel that way when Tobin left me to die. Bruce was bitten. He was in agony. I had to put him out of his misery. He was my friend too. You think this is easy for me? Oh, honey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to attack you like that. It's just... I'm scared. That's all. I've never seen so many of them at one time. How are we ever going to get through this? We'll be fine. Figure this out. Don't touch me like that. Someone might see us. are we going to do? I must ask you to all remain calm. You've got every right to be worried, Nicholas, but I've called this meeting to discuss what we're going to do in a calm and civil way. There's no need to panic. The first thing we need to do is keep quiet as possible, starting now. We've already seen that the herd is moving around the perimeter of the fence. They'll have us surrounded soon, and more are arriving every minute, coming from all directions. Listen, this is bad, really bad. I'm not trying to hide that, but I know we can get through this, and we will. We just need to be smart about it. What about food? If we're trapped here, we're not going to be able to go out and gather more. Winter is here. What do we do if we run out? We've got enough food to last us at least a month. And if we start rationing now, longer than that, we should be okay. Glenn is right, Jesse. For now at least, food is not an issue. My main concern is keeping the walls up, as long as they hold. We'll be safe in here and we'll have plenty of time to figure out how we're going to get rid of the rumors gathering around us. Abraham. Gather your crew and split them into teams. I'd like them to walk the perimeter of the fence and search for any weak spots. If they find any, we need to get those reinforced immediately. Have everyone do a couple passes. I want to make sure there's no chance of any of those panels coming down. Michonne, I'd like you to organize and schedule a night watchman program. We're going to need to keep a few people keeping an eye on things at all times. I don't want any surprises with this danger on our doorstep. I want to be prepared for whatever comes. To that end, we should probably situate some people on the roofs at each corner of the fence line so we can keep an eye on the rumor activity on the other side of the wall. With winter coming, our solar grid is going to be stretched to the limit as it's trying to keep us warm. I would rather not have everyone spread out anyway, so I think we're going to need to start sharing houses again. I think it'll be the safest thing moving forward. I'm also opening up the armory. I want everyone to be able to protect themselves in the worst case scenario situation. So stock up. Grab whatever you're comfortable with. This isn't mandatory. If you're not comfortable with a gun, Please don't take one. We don't need an accident. And we don't need to draw more of those things to us with accidental gunfire. We're going to be working out the best way to get these things away from us. All I ask is your continued caution and calm as we deal with this situation. Everyone, thank you for your time. Did you get a read on the crowd, Douglas? I'm worried this might be too much for them to handle. I don't want people to panic. Hey, Rick. Come on, let's give Douglas some space. What are we going to do about Andrea? She's stuck in that bell tower all alone. I'm worried about her. Right now, truth is, she very well might be the safest among us. She's not a priority for now. Come on, Mom. Sorry, Ron. I'm coming. Well, Morgan, you ready to take a shift on my night watch crew? Why not? 
You know I don't sleep very much anyway. You don't have to worry about that one. Andrea is one of them. Those people dealt with all kinds of crap like this before they came here. She'll be fine. I know. I know. Trapped inside? So what? I was never planning on leaving again anyway. I hear ya. Rosita, you go on ahead. Ollie and I are going to go to the armory. Meet everyone there to arm up. And then we're going to do the wall check Rick asked for. I'll be home a little late tonight, I'm sure. I understand. Love you. You too. You have fun with Sophia? I don't like going there. Why'd you have to send me off with them? Why can't I just stay with you? I was helping people get weapons out of the armory. You got a new belt? Yeah. They had a left-handed one here, so I snagged it. And that's not all. Is that mine? It is. They were just keeping it in the armory. I got my old gun back too. Cool. It's late. Almost bedtime, Carl. I'll just wear it for a minute. Okay. But just a minute. You remember our rule, right? You only take it out of the belt when you need to shoot it. I see you holding it without needing to, and I'll take it away. I remember. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I'm scared. But you can't tell, can you? No. I sure can't, son. Yeah. I'm going to be a good leader someday, just like you. Come here. I'm sorry, Rick. I don't mean to intrude, but you said something about grouping together and fewer houses, and with everything going on, we just... Would it be okay if we slept here tonight? Sure. Yeah. Come on in. I'm really sorry to do this. We don't have to stay if you... Jesse, please. Really, it's no problem at all. Hey. Hey. Let me get some room set up for you. Won't take a minute. I've fucked up. I've fucked it all up. Now we're all going to die. I've fucked up. I'm so sorry, Regina. So sorry. Dad? Carl, you awake? <sighs> what do you want? Your dad killed my dad. So, my dad's killed a lot of people, and so have I. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Why does your dad get to be good, but my daddy is bad? I don't know. It's just how things are. You hear that? Sounds like one of them was up. Probably just getting a drink or something. Rick, why do you do it? Do what? Help people. You could have just left Pete and I alone, but you stuck your nose in. You don't have to, and... It wasn't easy, but you did it anyway. You were in trouble. He was hurting you and your son. I just did what was right. It doesn't ever really occur to me that I have another option, Jesse. But you do. Look around you. Nobody blames anyone for just looking out for themselves. Not with all that's going on. But I've heard the stories from your people. You always put yourself out there, trying to help others. I think it's amazing. It's not. Everything I've done, for the good of my group, has always mostly been done to protect my family. That's what's important to me. Pete was dangerous. He was hurting you. But if he's doing that, where does it end? Eventually that gets out to the other people. Puts them in danger. I'm just like everyone else, doing whatever I can to survive. If there's a difference, maybe it's just that I see threats before anyone else. Maybe even sometimes where there aren't any. I dunno. But don't get me wrong, and I'm glad I helped you, but I was doing it to keep my son safe. So I'm not better than those who didn't do a thing. You can argue all you want, I just don't see it that way. You're special. Well, thank you. Really. I kind of... I should be getting to bed. I've got that patrol coming up. Yeah, sure. Sorry to keep you. Good night. I'm sorry. Did I wake you? Morgan, hey. No, you didn't. What's going on? I miss my wife. 
And I'm still not over her death. And I appreciate you understanding all that. But sometimes, I get really lonely. And I just want to be with someone. And that doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't at all. Come in. With all that's going on, I don't think anyone wants to be alone. Go ahead. I'll meet you in there. I hope you're not too comfortable up there. Please, Father, I beg you. We have good people here. I'll know it. Take us under your wing and deliver us from the mouth of evil that lay at our doorstep. Jesus. We'll get through this. It'll be okay. You'll see. All clear? All clear. Rick? Are you still awake? Could I maybe sleep next to you? I'd feel so much safer. Jesse, I don't feel... 